One of the things that's so important to faster decision making in a chaotic environment is having a really distinct and understood division of duties. You'll notice that I never flew alone. We had two people in our cockpit. There was someone in the back seat called a weapon systems officer or a WIZO. I like to think that two brains made us twice as fast and twice as smart in our decision and in our judgments. As the pilot out front, I was looking for other air-to-air -air enemy threats or air-to-air, -air, if you will, enemy aircraft. I would make sure I was safely flying the aircraft in the right envelope. I would make sure that I was on the correct radios and communicating specifically. The WIZO in the background was making sure all of our air-to-ground weapon systems were up online and precise, helping us to target the exact location that we needed to safely employ weapons. You'll notice we never fly alone. We always fly with a wingman. We had airborne command and control helping us as well. Sometimes we'd be working four different radios at a time, and let's not forget the person who matters most, our customer on the ground, the warfighters perspective. Each and every one of us playing a distinct role. And there wasn't one of us, not one of us, no matter how good the technology, how good my training as a fighter pilot, there wasn't one of us that could do the entire close air support mission by ourselves. It took us each fulfilling a specific and a defined role with a clear division of duties in order to get that mission to happen. We always flew with a wingman. We always worked together. Now, one of the other things that's important to doing CAS in this chaotic environment is that we also would share the accountability. It's a term we used to use called buying the bomb. I mean, if we're going to be dropping weapons within close proximity of friendly troops in a very high-risk chaotic environment, we want to make sure that we are 100% accurate and precise in what we do. Yes, I, the pilot, the team lead, was the one who would push the pickle button and release those weapons, but I would not do so without the full support and acknowledgement of my WIZO in the backseat, my wingman, command and control, and of course, the person on the ground who has the pain point, our customer, the warfighter the pain point that we're trying to actually alleviate. It was a very high risk mission, but at the same time we shared accountability, we shared in that risk, but we also shared in what could become indeed a very high reward. One of the other things that was so vital in a chaotic environment was making sure as the flight lead, the leader of a team, that I was clear and concise in my communication. I just told you that we're gonna be working sometimes four radios uh, there's going to be explosions and stuff in the background, a sense of urgency in a young allied person's voice, right? The stress is extremely high. What we would call that sometimes is a, as a helmet fire, right? When you would get a helmet fire, and I would teach young flight leads this, I would tell them, before you key the radio or the mic, before you go to speak to your teammates, ask yourself, is what I'm about to say or do going to add calm and confidence? or am I gonna to add to the chaos? Before you key the mic to speak, think about what you wanna say, the rate, the tone, and the inflection, and ensure that what you're about to say or do is gonna add common confidence and not add to the actual chaos. Being concise in communication is everything. It can actually transmit to other people where they should be feeling stress level wise. You hold the rate, the tone, and the, infection, and the inflection, and you yourself can add calm and confidence. 